Hello, Barons. Let's start this great week off with some BTVs. I'm Carter. And I'm Gavin. Let's begin with the weather. Hello, Barons. I'm the Monsoon, here to give you your three-day weather forecast. Today, there will be cloudy skies with a high of 39 with a chance of rain after 3 p.m. Tonight, there will be a low of 26, and that rain that we could see after 3 transition over to snow. An inch of snow is possible tonight, but we likely only see that inch on grassy, grassy and higher elevation surfaces. Due to today, today's high of 39, surfaces like roads and driveways will retain a lot of the heat, which will make snow hard to accumulate. So don't bank on a delay. Tomorrow we will have a super below average high of 32, with mostly cloudy skies and a low of 19. Hashtag burr. Wednesday, the cold stays with a high of 34, with sunny skies and a low of 22. This is a monsoon saying start this week strong and stay warm. Attention all participants that are planning on attending the Women in STEM field trip to Hanover College. We will be meeting one final time Tuesday during homeroom in C229, Miss Martin's room, to finalize the plans for our field trip. This is a very important meeting. We will be discussing the logistics of our trip. All permission slips must be turned in at the end of the day today to be eligible for the trip. Participants are attending, that are attending are expected to contact their teachers and make arrangements for Make up work before the trip. And now the local happenings. Tonight there will be a veterans presentation in the Hoosier Air Museum from 7 to 8. The veterans being honored tonight are the Air Force veterans from the Cold War and Korean War years. Come down and support your local veterans. Last week on Friday, DeKalb posted a Veterans Day convocation. We honored several of our local veterans. If you missed the combo and you wanted to see it, BTV recorded the whole thing and re-uploaded it onto our YouTube channel. The link is in the description below. In national news, a wildfire is raging through Northern California and has caused at least 29 confirmed casualties while causing thousands more of dollars in damage. Governor Jerry Brown of California commented on the situation and requested aid from the Trump administration, who responded by blaming the fires on poor forest management. There will be a Spanish club meeting on Monday in Mrs. Haynes' room, D208. And now to teacher interviews. Hey, Barons, we're back with a segment of teacher interviews, and today we have Mr. Gaff with us. How are you doing today, Mr. Gaff? Oh, terrific. Just excellent. All right, let's get started. So the first question is, what was a hobby that you enjoyed as a teenager? Um, honestly, probably a big thing for me as a teenager was, uh, as a family, we would always go and my parents raced cars, so I would always work on the cars. And uh, as I got older, I think, I think I turned 11, and all of a sudden they decided they wanted to make me a crew chief, so I you know, did the setup and figured out, okay, so the car's doing this, and here's what we need to do, and talk things over with my dad, and kind of did all the prep work. Nice. What was your very first job? Uh, first job probably, I think, was summer between my senior year of high school, my freshman year of college, uh, to get a bit of extra money. I actually had a couple. I worked for a company called Vector, selling like Cutco knives and stuff, um, cut, kitchen cutlery and whatnot. But I also worked at Bostwick Braun in Ashley as a packer. So I packed boxes and sent them out. That's what I did. What's your biggest fear and why? Uh, biggest fear is probably I have a, well, I have a kind of a fear of like failure, of just letting people down and people. <laughs> he wrote it down. All right. Um, so craziest story. Uh, as far as stuff that I can remember that's in, co so in college, I was a freshman orientation leader, and there's a tradition at Purdue where everybody just goes all crazy and just runs through, there's like four major fountains on campus, so you like run through the fountain, then you sprint to the next fountain, and you run through that one, then you sprint to the next fountain, and you run through that one, you sprint to the last one, and you run through that one. So anyways, it's called a fountain run, and so there was this like little pond, which it was kind of a fountain, kind of a pond, but it was like had this still water that at the time hadn't been cleaned in a while, so it was kind of scummy and kind of gross looking. And I think it was my second time being a team leader, so I was like a junior, and I decided, I was like, hey, you know what, 
most people don't run through the scum pond, but you can, you can if you want to. So we ran through the fountains, and that was this was like halfway through. So we were running, and I was like, I'm going to the scum pond. And literally every single person in my group, we all went and jumped into this like filthy scum pond and then ran to the other fountains. So it wasn't like super gross because we got cleaned off after that, but it was kind of fun. Do you like Taco Bell? And if so, what do you get from there? Uh, yeah, I, I dig some T-Bell. Uh, it's not necessarily the best thing in the world for you, but I do enjoy it uh, on occasion. So I'll usually go and I get the same thing every time. I always get three soft tacos, just plain as can be, the meat, the cheese, the lettuce. So three of them. And if I'm really feeling like I want to, you know, splurge and kind of indulge myself a little bit, I'll pick up and order a cinnamon twist as well. Those are pretty, pretty good. Have you ever traveled outside of state? And, and if so, where and why? Uh, outside of state, I've actually been outside of state a lot of times. Um, we went on a lot of, I was very fortunate growing up, we went on a lot of family vacations. So been to Hawaii, we went to a family vacation in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, been to Washington DC, all over the place. Uh, we went to a family vacation in Hawaii, which was really cool. Um, but I've also been out of the country twice, so we've, well actually more than twice, been to Canada a few times, but uh, we've been to Canada, been to Toronto, went to the Hockey Hall of Fame, and then also uh, this summer when I got married, my wife and I went on vacation, or on honeymoon in Mexico, so that was pretty exciting. I, so I would say that definitely counts as being out of the state. All right, that wraps up this week of teacher interviews, and we'll see you right back here next week. Now to lunch with Mr. Bice. Hey ho Barons, it's Monday once again here at the high school. So uh, Gabe, what was the exciting thing you done this weekend? Uh, I went to the Notre Dame game. Ooh, there you go. They showed uh, Florida how to play football, didn't they? They did. <laughs> they most certainly did. Hey, so uh, are you hungry for lunch today? I am. So how about a beef taco salad with refried beans? I like those. You like those? And hey, one of Mr. Allison's favorite things he promotes here at the high school. Chicken patties. Chicken patties. Chicken and patties. then we also got chicken noodles with some Nash taters. How about that? Now there's a dinner. There's a dinner right there by itself. It's oh, yes it is. Hey, it's Monday. So sell it, Gabe. Big uh, Daddy's Pizza. You heard it, Barons, right there. It's a big daddy day. So you guys have a great Monday, and we'll see you on Wednesday. Baron Block t-shirts are on sale from November 7th to November 16th before school and during lunch. Be watching for pictures of our Baron family displaying school spirit in their Baron Block shirts. Show your Baron pride. Now to Motivational Monday. Hello guys, my name is John Wolf, and I'm here to spread a motivational quote among all of you. The first quote is from Thomas A. Edison. Our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. Now to sports and such. Hello, I'm John with the sports. There is a boys basketball scrim at West Noble at 6 p.m. November 15th. Girls basketball has a game at Garrett on Friday, November 6th at 7.30. And finally, on Saturday, we have a girls basketball game at home versus Central Noble a JV West Noble invite, and the football banquet is from 6 to 10 p.m. Hope to see you there, Barons. We need your input, Barons. What deep thoughts do you have for Kendall Jardine? Email your input to the BTV student email. The I-STEP testing window begins this week. Please make sure your Chromebook is updated to ensure optimum performance. Chrome OS should be at version 70. If you, don't, if you do not know how to update your device, don't hesitate to bring your device to the media center. Spasiba! Thank you, in Russian. There will be an Amnesty Interma International meeting today in New Tech 102. And now to Madgab. What's up, Barons? It's Seven Morris here, and we're bringing back Madgab Mondays. Hey, Barons, it's Drew here with Madgab Monday. Today we have Gavin and Dylan. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. No, sir. Congratulations, Gavin is your winner for this week. We'll see you next week on BTV. Hey, Barron, so welcome back to another great week of teacher battles. This week, you would be voting on which teacher is most likely to get that Fortnite dub in the battle royales. 
The teachers are Mr. Ditson, Mr. Frank, Mrs. Hall, Mr. Bodner, Ms. Minolte, Mrs. Horda, and Mr. Miller, Mrs. Johnson. Also, congrats to our winner from last week, Mr. Randy Bice, the most likely to survive a zombie apocalypse. Mr. Kemp will be sending out an email for you to vote. Good luck, teachers. I'm Gavin. And I'm Carter. Have a good day, Barons. That was good. Good stuff. Good stuff.